starting off at Kin Ross, we'll head for the village of Milnathort and join the cycle path, following the path all the way and exiting at Balgedi. We'll then join the back roads heading for Falkland and turn off onto the old Perth Road for our final destination, Balverd Castle. Hello and welcome to this next Triumph Trekker GT does the old straight trek to Balveard Castle. It's another beautiful day here in central Scotland and Balveard Castle is one of Fife's haunted castles so I'll be telling you more about the haunted castle when we get nearer the destination. The other announcement I've got to make today is that I've added some rear suspension to the bike because the Trekker is a hardtail and it really could do with some rear suspension so I've added a, a redshift shock stopper so I'll be giving you a, a mini review of that in this video to tell you the difference it makes <laughs> Balverd Castle was built in the 15th century and the first owner was Sir Andrew Murray who lived there with his wife Margaret Barclay. The castle is thought to be haunted by the Grey Man and the Grey Man is thought to be none other than Sir Andrew Murray himself. As I had only travelled 15 miles by this stage, I decided to continue along the Perth Road, heading for the more northerly coastal town of Newborough.
that's me at the end of my journey to Newborough. I've had a fantastic ride, it's been great. I discovered this cycle path and I had no idea where it was taking me, but uh, I decided to follow it to the end and it takes me to the end of, of Newborough. So it's been a great trip. The people here are really friendly, I met a nice guy, Adam of Newborough, and uh, said if I ever have any problems, if I break down, I'm just call on him. Nice guy. So there you are, got a new contact in Newborough. Yes, I know that you're all still wondering how about this redshift suspension? How did it work? Well, all I can say is going over potholes is just creamy smoothness. Riding on rough off-roading uh, just makes the whole ride just much more comfortable. The roads from Balverde Castle to Abernethy were pretty rough. The suspension really helped get over the rough patches of road. So how has it affected my riding? Well, the seat height has increased, so I have to stretch my legs a little bit more with the red shift. And also, I'm in more of a racing position now, so I do feel the weight on my wrists. However, that against having creamy smooth suspension, I'll go with the red shift. I'll stick with that at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and join me next time on the next adventure. Bye for now. Two miles.